We're here in Midwest City uh, with the Lone Star Tactical Building, and we're going to talk about how to calculate fuel packages for your desired fire behavior in your fixed facility. So a common question when dealing with calculating fuel packages is, how does it compare for a large department versus a small department? The reality is, it's the same. So once a small department or a large department chooses to cross the threshold and make interior attack on a fire, the fire behavior that they're gonna encounter is gonna be the same re regardless of department size. The actions that the novel is gonna have to take are gonna be the same regardless of uh, department size. Now the tactics that they may engage in around that, the amount of support that that nozzle individual might have are gonna be different. But the fire behavior is gonna be the same a water application is going to be the same. So smaller, large department, your fuel calculations aren't going to change. So the way we calculate our fuels is based on two different principles. First, there's some information contained in NFPA 1403 about how to calculate the heat release rate for a flashover of rooms of different sizes. We combine that with information provided to us by FSRI, the Fire Safety Research Institute, about the heat release rate of various NFPA 1403 compliant fuel packages. They take a large volume of tests on a bar, large volume of fuel packages and fuel types. And that gives us the information that we need to pair the fuel load and fuel type to the room size. So what we're shooting for most of the time is heavy involvement in the room of origin and fire, heat and smoke traveling in the spaces outside that room of origin. So why is that? It's because once the nozzle makes the fire room, the game is over. The nozzle's won. The ancient three-quarter line in the residential environment is an overwhelming tool. And so the challenge for any nozzle is the approach. It's the space from the front door to the fire room. So we as instructors need to create conditions that replicate the conditions that a nozzle firefighter will face in the modern fire environment. That requires fuel packages that allow us to create at least semi-realistic conditions in those environments. So we need to have fuel packages that simulate that flashover in the room of origin and then push heat and smoke around the rest of the building. Now, I also might need to increase or decrease my fuel package based on the building layout. If I have a small building and a small fire room, I'm not gonna need as much fuel. If I have a large room of origin and a large building that I need to fill with heat and smoke, I'm going to need a longer burn time and a larger corresponding fuel package. So it's on you as the instructor, as the department to go out there, drill in your building and figure out what you can do.